Welcome back to another Cure Questions video. I am TechNivers. Today we're going to be discussing why Cure crashes when you try to load a file and what to do about it. Welcome folks, I am TechNivers. We are back with another one of your Cure Questions. Today's question is, why does Cure keep crashing when I try to load a model? Now this is an error that has happened regularly since Cure 4.9 and it's actually a compatibility issue. So let's take a look on my desktop here. We have a couple of STLs. These two STLs are just basic STLs. This one here is super high in triangles. It is 136 megabytes compared to this little guy, which is 403 kilobytes. Doesn't matter the size, okay? These are displayed using Chittobox's thumbnail preview. Now, let's take a look at the Ultimaker Kira FAQ site. So they have a lot of questions coming in about this crash, and the answer was last updated on September 21st, 2021. Now that is last month, and it seems like ever since 4.9, they've been having some compatibility issues with Chidubox. So it's not Chidubox itself, it tends to be that thumbnail preview mode, and since I use Chidubox for my resin printers in MSLA mode, I kinda need it and I can't uninstall it like they're suggesting for option one. So instead, I went with this option which was uninstalling the thumbnail preview. Now since I've done this it has improved the crash rate of Kira. I am not crashing when bringing in models now. I'm not crashing when bringing in multiple models. So this is something that's kind of distressing to see. Uh, really really irritating that a simple outside program could cause Kira to crash and if you don't know about it you're gonna rack your brains trying to figure it out and probably just quit using Kira because you would think it's an internal problem. Uh, don't do that. Cure is great. I'm sure that they'll get this worked out eventually when they find out what the actual problem is. Right now they know where it's coming from and how to eliminate it, but the compatibility issue itself is something that they haven't really nailed down yet, and I'm sure that they'll take care of it. Um, that's going to be it for this one, guys. If you have any Cure questions, leave them in the comments down below. I love to answer your questions. And hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to smash a like button as well and ring the bell for notifications. That way, next time I make a Cure questions video, you get notified right away and I do make them quite often sometimes I make several a day sometimes I make a couple a week it just depends on how many questions I have coming in on the software so if you need to know something are curious about something would like a demonstration or just have a question or some ideas that maybe I haven't thought of and shown to the community yet feel free to leave those down in the comments I appreciate everyone you leave and if you leave me a question I might make a dedicated video just for you that's going to be it for this one, guys. Take Nibbers out. Stick around, guys. I got another YouTube recommended video for you right here. And if you haven't already, subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Make sure that you smash that like button. We'll see you in the next one. Take Nibbers out.